Hello guys and what's up in this episode I'm going to be showing you how to do this so I made a nice little thing here and what this is is how to make a game in Apple Script Editor right here you just type in Apple and it should come up I've got it loaded here I'm just going to show you a neat little thing I made guess your fate now I'm just going to go right and click the correct answer and there's kill I had you lost hello sorry screw you you lost so I'm going to show you how to make this you open up Apple Script Editor and you'll be like what is this and you'll start typing random things and you'll enter random more things and enter and then you'll try to run it but then it will it won't work now just to make this neat little thing here this is what I made I'm only a beginner I'm still learning how to use this and it could actually like end things so tell No, no, I, I'm not good at that sort of stuff, but I'm just going to show you how to make this right here. Now, oh, you might be thinking, oh, do I have to type all this out? No, there's only a few things you've got to type, because all you got to do is right-click, Dialogues, then Dialogue, three button, three action. It's right here, three BTNS, three actions. Click it, and it goes all here. Now, what this right here is, is in these brackets that's where it will say at the top like if I open this right here it says guess me so let's just do that so let's just do guess the answer then this is where your buttons will say it's always in the speech mark so let's say pick me pick underscore me let's just do no pick me then the default button you could have as two but then set the button press blah 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 is and then let's say you wanted the button what goes in these brackets is whatever um, is like this so let's say you want to pick <clears throat> me sorry about that action for the first button goes here just delete all that and you want it to <clears throat> display dialogue and you want to do your speech marks wow you won then brackets you could do close bracket, exclamation mark, no, noob, exclamation mark, close bracket, there you go, and then the second button is pick underscore me, and then you could, you need to display dialogue, and you need to do the speech marks and that, um, well done, you accomplished a comp list nothing well done you accomplished nothing and then action for the third button goes here that's just else so it doesn't have anything then this is display dialogue and then this could just be screw you And you're wondering how do I get there? Well, you can just compile it, and then it should have no errors if you've copied me and done like what you want to type. Then run it, and then it should come up here. Then choose your answer. As you can see, pick me is the correct one. No, pick me. Screw you. And then you can run it again. Pick me. Well done. You accomplished nothing. Run. Pick me. Well, wow, you won. New. 
So then you're asking how do I get like an application right here? Go to your Apple Script Editor, File, Save. Guess your date two. And then you can like you can do anything with this, like name it anything, but you can like add like more of those things and all that. Like you could keep copying this. Well, I think the max amount is three buttons, but who cares? Like you could keep doing this and then display a new dialogue which has all this and all that. So uh, you wanna you don't want it as a script, you want it as an application. And then save. Now it's right here, and it should have that little thing. Now I'm gonna show you a neat little thing you can do to like change it. You wanna go to Google Chrome. Uh, Google search. Wanna go to Google Images? Let's just do a question mark. And then we can have this one. Save on the jazz. Save it. Then you have that. Then you could uh, go to Finder, Downloads. You put this. You wanna copy. Paste item, and now it's question mark coffee.jpg. Now, what you can do with this is open with other, always open with all applications. Now, you just use whatever you open it with uh, applications, Paint brush. and open it with that. Uh, crap. Uh, change this to a PNG. PNG. Just go to whatever you use and just do it. And then, as you can see, that's number one and that's number two. So, why do you think? Why'd you make a copy? Well, what we're going to be doing is file, open, downloads, there's your copy, and then it's opened right there. Then, you want to go to text, add a text box. Make it big, just put two and place it right there. So now you can file, save, now save, connect, X, X out, everything. As you can see, it's got the little two there. Just quit that, quit Google, and you can even quit your Apple script editor. Now, to change these, you just want to go to get info. And you see this little picture right here? Drag this onto the picture. But it's, it's not an icon, so it's just going to come up with this. So, this is a really big tutorial. And then, you just want to download image to icons. Just type that in in Google, and it should come up. And you drag your thingy here, make an icon choose. Now there's your icon. Let me just do this. Put it there. Icon. Choose. Right. Exit. You don't need these anymore. You delete it. Card. Now you want to put this as an icon. There you go. Guess your fate. Then we want to close this. Get info. God, this is a really big tutorial. And just put it there, pop it down. Now it's got guess your fate two and guess your fate one. Oh my crap, I just put the wrong one in there. Silly me, silly, silly, silly. Uh, question mark two, why can't they go? I should have a little two. Let's just play guess your fate one. Uh, blah blah blah, let's just do the correct answer. Uh, pick me, pick me, no pick me. Let's just do no pick me, screw you. Pick me, what well done, you accomplished nothing. And uh, pick me. You, wow, you won, you noob. So that is the tutorial for today on how to make a nice little thing. Um, you, you won't have to, but you can make like a whole series of guess your fate where it's just like random things trying to accomplish the answer. So, yeah. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and that tutorial, um, and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. Oh, oh.
above all right and then just right click this and stop it so i'll see you guys later bye